Hey guys, Multigame Master one reporting in and welcome back to my 100% Let's Play of Banjo-Kazooie. In the last episode, we completed everything in Rusty Bucket Bay, and in this episode, we're going to start exploring our next and final level of the game before the final battle, Click Clock Wood. So let's go ahead and get started. So upon arrival of Click Clock Wood, it seems to be a combination of four separate seasons. Spring over there, summer over there, fall over there, and winter over there. Unfortunately, all of the doors are closed, so it doesn't seem as though that we can get inside. So, let's see if we can find something. Let's get a good look around the place. Here is the switch that activates the fall... Spring door, sorry. I was on the fall side and I was a little bit confused there. Anyway, the spring door is now open. We'll take care of that in a second, as soon as I grab these eggs for ammo. I tried to get as much red feathers and gold feathers and eggs off camera as I possibly could. Alright, that's all we can grab for now, and upon arrival of the spring version of Click Clock Wood, it starts to rain. But we're not going to let that slow us down. Let's go right in. So here we are in the spring version of Click Clock Wood, and once again it's raining. And I don't understand why it is that those bees over there survive against downpours. I just really don't understand it. But moving on. We have lots of beautiful hedges and this pool of water. Spring is kind of like the dawn of a new life on earth. For plants in my personal opinion. Here's some more ammo that we can take with us. And we have a beaver that seems to be stuck underwater. Someone move this boulder! Naughty can't get in his house! So Naughty the beaver is apparently stuck out of his home for whatever reason whatsoever, but we can't do anything about it underwater. We're going to have to come back once we find a way to smash the boulder. We can't really do it underwater, so here's hoping that things can dry up soon. So we have some notes. Oh, and also get a good look at this tree. It's huge. It even extends far high into the sky and as far as the eye can see. It's a very big oak tree. And I passed some mumble tokens on the way, but just a heads up guys, we're not gonna be needing any more of those for a reason that I will cover in just a moment. Don't you dare look at me funny, you stupid beehive. You too, bees. Mind your own business. Here we have a pot of soil. And let's see what happens if we put eggs inside. After five eggs, a plant grows. And it'll take some time for it to grow, so we'll come back and check on it later. And once again, we have the return of Bigabyte. Did you just... That's what you get. Moving on. We'll come back and check on that plant back there later. And these birds that pop out of the trees, you can defeat them all if you want to, but it's not like anything is going to happen. Right here we have Mumble's skull. Oh, and see these brambles? That's what happens if you set foot in it. My bramble field makes you yelp, and loss of life, it sure does help. Yeah, thanks for that, Grunty. Here's Mumble Skull, as I was saying. And as you guys can see, we need 25 Ecom Tokums in order to transform into something. We have 36. I'm going to transform into whatever it is that Mum Mumble wants to transform us into right now. And this will be the last thing that Mumble will transform into. Uh, well... Let me rephrase that. Uh, Mumble magic much good. B is best yet. So as I was saying and restating, this will be the last thing that Mumble will transform in you into, and it'll be the last time that you'll see him. So we'll have to make good use of this. Oh yeah, we're B. 
Now we know what the life of a bee is like. Anyway, for the controls of the bee, you can press the A button repeatedly to fly higher, and you can also press the X button to fly a little faster. And here's our first jiggy for a click on wood. Who knows what will happen if you get close to those swarm of bees with the hive over there. But um, I'm not going to test it. Oh, we seem to have an even bigger hive than usual. With an Ikum Tokum on top of it. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. Bzzz. Hello fat little bee. We Zubas are guarding Grunty's golden honey piece. We've been told there's a honey bear out there. Alright, so as we can clearly see, the Zubas are guarding Grunty's gold, that jigsaw piece, but we can't do anything about it given the fact that it's encased in a glass of honey. So, we'll have to come back once we figure out a way to possibly destroy it if we're not in our bee forms. For now, we can just leave the Golden Jiggy and the Zubas alone. Let's see, other things that we could do while we're a bee? I can't really think of anything else. I guess we can go ahead and transform back into Banjo and Kazooie now, but I will transform back into a bee a little later. And you guys will see why. Alright, so we're now so now we're back into Banjo and Kazooie. Let's make our way out of here. And as I said before, I will transform back into a bee a little later for something really important. So we don't need any more mumble tokens from this point. Because as I said it earlier, this is the last level in which Mumble will transform you into something. Alright, so let's go ahead and keep exploring this tree because we've cover the outer boundaries of the area already. Let's see, did I miss any notes over there? It doesn't look like it. Okay, moving on. These plants right here are known as bear snaps, and if you get close to it, it will start to pretty much clap its mouth. You don't want to be in it, otherwise you will take damage. So let's keep making our way up the tree. The little leaf leaflets that you see on the side of the trees, you can walk along it if you want to, but if you're trying not to fall off from the tree and not take sufficient damage like I am, I would just leave it alone. They will evolve in due time. Gosh, so many of these birds. Also, another thing to know, if you step on this hive, nothing is going to really happen for the time being. So let's go ahead and keep climbing the tree. And I hope I don't fall off from this point. Okay. Here we have a house of some kind and... Oh, it's another beehive. Where are your bees, buddy? Where are your bees? Where are your bees? Where are your little bumbling friends now? I don't know why I did that, but I just felt like it. So moving on. Here we seem to have another doorway right here. Oh, and here's the summer switch right here. So that switch activates the door to Summer. We'll check it out a little bit later. Here's a squirrel in here by the name of Nabnut. Nabnut likes acorns. I'll just eat a few more. Yeah, you be careful. You don't want to eat way too many of those acorns. You'll get fat like Banjo. 
Another Momo token. I don't know why I just grabbed that. I just didn't see it there. Let's leave this area for now. And continue to climb up the tree. I hope no more, no more of those birds show up. By the way, heads up guys. This is a particularly long level, so I may have to cover this in two episodes. Again. Right here we have a giant egg. And if we get on top of it and slam it on the X, we have Wah, me eerie, mighty eagle. Need sleep now. I was expecting a big bird, but apparently we got an eagle and it's pretty small and it's taking a nap. And we just hatched it out of its egg. So much for him being of use to us. Moving on. Making our way to the top of the tree without falling off. Here's a green ginger right here. You can use the wonder wing to get on top of the bear snare and get it. And I probably should have done that in B form because bear snares are not particularly attracted to bees whatsoever. There's an extra life right there, and here's a Jiggy at the very top of the tree. Amidst all of these whip cracks. Try not to get hit by them if you can. And I don't think that there's anything else to be found in this area, so we can leave. And that's pretty much all for spring. Now let's head down safely into summer. Okay guys, here we are again back at the start of Click Clock Wood, and now that the summer door is open, we can go ahead and investigate the area. However, given the fact that there are two beehives and two swarms of bees right in front of our eyes, I have a feeling that it's going to be dangerous. But, brave the dangerous we shall. What are you two looking at? Don't look at me like that. Don't. Don't do it. Here we are in the summer version, and things are a lot more grown. The plants. Eerie hungry now! Meet five caterpillars! So Eerie now needs five caterpillars, wherever they could be. We're gonna go out and find them and... Oh no. Now we have a major problem. Remember when I showed you guys... Well, here's an example right here. Bees are, attract... are attracted to their hive only and they're only focused on that. But now we have stray bees out in the field. And they're in a deadly and angry swarm. I can tell you guys that right now. So if you even think about getting so close to the swarm. Let's just say that as I said before. You will be sorry. So we're going to do our best to avoid them. And wait hold on. I see something over there. I can't see it. I don't know if you guys can see that. But I just saw a yellow ginger waving its arms. So the good news is we can get it. The bad news is, it's guarded by a swarm of bees. So, uh, I really don't want to do this now. I'm just going to save it for the next episode and... Wait, what? You guys want me to do this? Guys, those bees are scary and deadly. Still you insist? <sighs> Fine. Okay, I'll do it for you, my fancy viewers. I will do it for you. Before we get started... I've seen some people grab the yellow genjo over in that area over there by means of just having the bees be attracted to them and then just uh, moving around, circling them, and then grabbing the genjo and then making their, their way back. But given the fact that I'm OCD about preserving my health, I'm going to do this the safest way possible and use the Wonder Wing. And I hope I can get this done in one attempt. So guys, here we go. Let's charge for the bee swarm in three, two, one, charge! Roar! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, god, they're all over me, get all over me, get them off, 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 oh, 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 oh my god, oh, oh, oh my god, oh, guys, my fans and viewers, I'm asking you a request. If that doesn't deserve a like, I don't know what will. If you guys thought that was cool, please give this video a like and let me know in the comments below. Just either call me 
multi-game master you are a beast or multi-game master you are a scaredy cat whichever two comments work well for you but i just had to endure a b-tastic trial if that doesn't deserve some positive feedback i don't know what does oh and also an interesting fact about the swarm of bees if you say if you stay within them while having the wonder wing turned on they will eventually die one at a time but I wouldn't advise trying to kill them all because you could waste your gold feathers. Okay, uh, moving right along. Another swarm of bees right there. Eek! Hungry animals! Uh, hungry animals like caterpillars! Okay, so from here on out, I'm gonna do my best to avoid the stray swarm of angry bees. Of course, I may not keep that promise, guys. Oh man. Oh, I am so relieved that I got past those swarm of bees. You guys have no idea how happy I am right now and so relieved to finally get it done. Anyway, you look pretty strong. Can you move this boulder for me? We sure can now that the water's dried up with a big charge. Wow, what strength! Come inside and I'll give you a reward. Okay, let's go ahead and accept their reward and... Okay, we have another problem. We can't get up there because the, the slope is too steep, so we'll have to come back to it in the future. Another swarm of bees right there. Good thing they aren't strays. Oh gosh, I'm still shaking from what just happened a few moments ago. You guys should see me, I'm totally shaking right now. Here's the switch that activates the door to fall we'll check that out quite possibly in the next episode because this has already been going on for quite a while i'm just going to take care of everything in summer then meet you guys back to back at the start and end the episode there all right um let's make our way up the tree again get past this bird Swarm of bees right below. Really don't want to get too close. Even though I'm up here. Alright, so looking around the area. Don't eat me. Oh, there's an extra life down there. I'm surprised that this isn't being guarded by a swarm of bees. And speaking of swarm of bees, we have two more swarms that ahead. And here's Gobi. Oh no, it's you two again. Gobi thought he was safe here. Yeah, well, you aren't. And you guys remember this plant, right? Well, it looks like it needs some water. Gobi, would you care to do the honors? No? Well, too bad, I'll make you. Will you stop doing that? It took me ages to find more water. Well, now you just gotta have to find more of it. Plus, your water is for a good cause. So, the plant has grown again, and we'll check on it again soon. And I hope Gobi stays there for as long as possible, because it seems like it's a relatively good place to seek some shade. So, given the fact that I don't want to get past those two angry swarms of bees over there, I'm gonna find another way to get through. And the only way I can think of is the means of this giant tree. Thank you, giant tree. Before I move on, I'm going to kill this bird with eggs. Because if it throws me off, it could launch me towards the swarm of bees. And I really don't want to go through this again. I really don't. And also down there, next to those swarm of bees, we have an Ecom Tokum and a Caterpillar. But I'm not going to grab those. Because, well, as I said, I don't, want, I don't really want to face the swarms again. I've already done that once for you guys, and I'm not doing it again. Here's another caterpillar right here. At least I can get this one. And here's Mumbo. What are you doing? Do hot for magic. Mumbo wants suntan. You lazy bonehead. What is wrong with you? Here we have another Ecom Tokum. Just remember that that was there. Let's go ahead and make our way out of here. Imagine how Mumble would be like if 
He had bees in his hut. I'm pretty sure he'd be fanning at them like crazy. Trying to get them off him. Okay, so from here we can keep on climbing this tree. And now that the leaves have grown, we can simply make our way to the top here without falling off, hopefully. And if we make it to the end, here's another Jiggy. Quite a good climb. Okay, let's keep climbing. Actually, from this point, I just want to go down. Ow! As I said before, guys, I meant to do that because I wanted to restart my climb. So now, resuming our climb up the tree. Gosh, the recording has been going on for quite a while now. This episode may be longer than usual. How many times have you heard me say that in the series already? But... For the sake of getting summer done... I will make this long. Here's another caterpillar right here, and yes, Eerie, I hear you. Five caterpillars, we can now take these to Eerie to feed. And now, if we make our way right here, this beehive, we have a potential way in which we can get in. You can't really access it during the... You can't really access the hive this way during the springtime. You can only do it in the summer. Okay. So it looks like the coast is clear. Let's see what we can do about this jiggy. Uh-oh. The honey bear. He's after Grunty's golden honey piece. Sting him, Zubas. Uh-oh. Wonder Wing activate. Bizarre. He's beaten us. Oh well, we were getting bored of guarding it anyway. Okay, so three things I like to talk about. Number one, you can defeat all the Zubas by means of the Wonder Wing. It certainly is a lot better than you destroying them with your regular attacks. Number two, uh, Zubas, if you were bored of guarding it, then couldn't you have just given us, given us it in the first place? I mean, seriously, think about what you're doing. And the third thing that I was mentioning, uh, third thing, well, shoot, I guess I already forgot about it. If I remember it, I will tell you guys what it is. In this nearly repaired hut, we have a Jiggy. Now, if I can make my way back without falling off, nice. Now, making our way through this passageway. Wait, actually, give me a second, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, and I'm back yet again. And I just remembered the third thing I wanted to tell you guys. You can only get the beehive... Uh, uh, not the beehive. You can only get the jiggy inside the beehive during summer, so... Come here and you'll be able to get the Jiggy. Anyway, moving on. We still have a little bit more to cover before we can end the episode. And once again, I have my biggest nightmare. Seriously, these guys are scary. We have notes up there. I'm going to see if I can sneak past them. Yoink! Well, that was easy. Huh. I guess bees aren't so bad after all. Alright, here we have another caterpillar. What are you looking at, Robin Hood? Die. Okay, let's go ahead and pick in an enter. And here's Napnut again. Oh, Napnut's eating too many acorns. I've got none left for next winter now. See, I told you. I told you that was going to happen. 
Did you just fart? Okay, I'm getting out of here. Okay, moving on. I have a strange feeling that these birds that are popping out of the tree are close relatives of Kazooie. Don't fall! Thank you. I swear, the camera gets to me sometimes. Let's be eerie these caterpillars. Yummy! Juicy caterpillars! Nice! We're down to two caterpillars. And I hope you're satisfied now, Eerie. Burr. Eerie fool now. Needs more sleep. And once again, Eerie dozes off to sleep. Not really much that we can do at the moment. So I guess from here, we could just exit summer. So I will meet you guys there in a moment. Okay guys, I'm back. Here we are back at the start of Click Clock Wood again and the fall door is open. However, given the fact that this episode is too long, I'm going to stop here and save that and possibly winter for the next episode. So in the next part, we're going to explore the rest of Click Clock Wood and hopefully get the rest of the notes, extra honeycomb pieces, and jigsaw pieces that we can find. So until next time, I'm Multigame Master one thanks for watching and I will see you guys later.